St. Francis of Assisi presents Preaching to the Birds. That falcon is hunting, cruel beast. Yes, but it too is a child of God. Come on. What a good dog you are. Hmm. And what a beautiful present. You deserve a reward. <laughs> hmm. Peace to you. Brother Francis, what a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Anthony, how are you? Very well, and you're here also, Massius. And also you, Brother Angelo. What a surprise. You must absolutely honor me with a visit. We're on our way to the Canary Islands to preach the word of God. Are you really? Today is a lovely day for traveling. You know, isn't that the most beautiful falcon? Yes, but aren't you ashamed? Why would I be ashamed? That's how you're supposed to treat a falcon. That's how you train them to hunt, isn't it? You do agree, don't you? How do you think you'd feel if you had to wear a hood over your head all day? Don't be silly, I'm not a falcon. But you are tormenting a child of God. But being a falconer is a noble art. I'm not doing anything wrong. Such torment, mm -hmm. such torture. It is providence that orders the creation and establishes the way of things. Animals and men both search for food, but you have forced him to become an assassin. He's no longer hunting just to eat. He's hunting for your pleasure. But this is the ancient art of falconry. It's a tradition. It's been practiced for centuries by noblemen, princes, and kings. No, it's just simple cruelty. Let me talk to your falcon. What? As you wish. I'm a man of God. Please remove his hood, Hervé. Brother Hawk, creature of God. Brother Hawk, I have something to tell you on behalf of your Creator. Huh? Long have you been tormented by men. Now I offer you the chance to return to your kind, to fly away and join your brothers in the forest. I know you understand my words, and your heart wants you to take flight. But he only knows how to do what I've trained him for. If he goes free, Brother Francis, he wouldn't survive a single day. He only eats the morsels that I provide for him. Brother Hawk, I ask you, do you wish to live as the Creator intended? Then fly! You're crazy, Francis, completely crazy! And you <laughs> are a sinner, Anthony. You need to do penance. You have a lot to seek forgiveness for. to me. Come here. Over here, my friend. Yangala <laughs> 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 
Yan galope, yan galope, she kisa notare, yan galle bestie nel pascolare, yan galla terra. Church of Canary will be spreading the word of God. Please pay close attention to Brother Francis for the good of your soul and your salvation. What about it, brothers? Don't you wish to hear the word of God? You've done all you can, brother. Count on us. We'll be sure to listen to Francis preach the word. So when you hear the bell... When we hear the bell, brother, we will all be there. I thank you, brother, and may God bless you. Get him right here. I'll cut it in half. Is that okay? That's fine. I'm so hungry. Thank you. Ow. We have no time to waste with silly prayers. This is a marketplace. It's time for us to spread the word of the Lord, but no one has shown themselves. Ring the bell again, Massius. Here you go. <laughs> Look, the swallows have arrived early. How strange. You suppose it has something to do with the weather? you, brother and sister swallows, and all the other birds that have come. The men and women are occupied with their market, and they have forgotten the Lord Jesus. Forgive their souls. Brother and sister swallows, and all the birds who have come to hear the word of God, please know that you are truly cherished by your Creator. You are happy creatures who fly so close to heaven. You make your homes in his trees and on the roofs of houses. You build your nests wherever you like, am I right? For that freedom, you should thank the Lord. He has covered you with feathers and has given only you the strength and freedom to fly. Inside of you dwell the seeds of your brothers and sisters who took refuge in the Ark of Noah, for your kind were not a race from the wide world during the great flood. As you know, God loves you. You can see it every day. In fact, you do not sow and reap your grain, but God prepares your food in the fields and gives you rivers and streams from which you can drink. He made mountains and valleys for your refuge, and he created the tall trees where you can raise your young. And he gave you the element of air and made it possible for you to fly. You do not know the arts of either spinning or sewing, and yet you are clothed. God sees all. The Lord loves you, and you should love him. Guard against the sin of ingratitude. And for all these gifts you have received, praise the name of the Lord. You are strong. You are holy. <laughs> you are the Holy Father, King of heaven and earth. You are beautiful, gentle. You are our strength and our protection. You are our hope and our salvation. Fly far and wide from the heavens and spread the word. 
of the omnipotence and goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a miracle! Look, the birds have come to Please, listen! Lord, Brother forgive Francis my is sins. a saint! You are our saint, Francis! No, no, you don't understand. No, no, I'm not the one to worship. You must confess your sins, you sinners, and worship Jesus Christ. Only in this way can you save your eternal soul. Francis, you are holy! I will follow you no matter what road you lead me down. Please, Francis, save me. Save me from all of my sins. I beg you. I cannot save any sinners. I'm not your savior. It is Jesus who saves. Repent of your sins to the Lord. He is your only salvation. He invites you to enter his kingdom because he loves you. <laughs> Excellent. You jump around like a grasshopper, my brother. I'm an actor, and I travel the world with my patron's caravan. Mm. I want to know how to speak with the good mm. Lord like you friars. I want to know if there is a place in paradise for a simple acrobat. Well, that really depends. Depends on what? You must tell me the truth, please. It all depends on what you plan to do with your life. So you're saying what I do in life determines whether I can get into heaven? It's very easy. Everything you need to do has already been written. And where is it written? In the Gospel of our Lord. I'm afraid that I can't read. Don't worry. I can tell you exactly what it says. If you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must leave your father and your mother. You must sell everything and give the proceeds to the poor, the lepers, and all those who are hungry. That's not a problem for me. I have no father and mother, and I have no possessions. In truth, I have nothing. You do have one thing. Huh? You have your heart, dear brother. Yes, I have got that. If you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven, then you should leave your employer and come to our convent. That is where the road to paradise begins. Hmm. I've heard all you've said. I will give it serious thought. Goodbye, Brother Francis. For the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He, he makes, makes me lie down in green pastures. pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. It's wonderful to be able to recite the psalms together like this, yes. right? But of course we can, Pacifica. We could do it together, with a brother, or even between us, like sisters.
marvelous. You're very talented, brother. But it's something I'm going to have to give up. Isn't it evil? The Lord is pleased with your sacrifice, but I'm sure he will be even more pleased with your unflagging obedience. But every afternoon, until you have the strength for holy obedience, I want you to practice your jumping. Are you serious? Of course, I'm very serious. Your gift is from God. And so on that day, Mary told the angel, may it be according to the will of God. The angels still come to us to search through our thoughts and to suggest the good things we must accomplish. The demons are, however, here to suggest the bad things. We must reject their temptations and listen to the angels, and the proposals of the angels must be answered. May it be according to your will, Lord Jesus. May it be according to your will. Grant me peace, O Lord. Grant, Grant me, me peace, peace, O Lord. Lord. He's gone, but I know where he went. I have come to ask of you, my Lord, to grant forgiveness to all my brothers. Forgive those who are lazy and also those who love money, even though they have made a vow of poverty. Forgive all of us, my Lord. I ask that you forgive Brother Massius. His strengths help me with so many of my burdens. I ask that you forgive Brother Sylvester, for he has stayed with us as long as possible, and because he has the heart of a saint. And I also ask forgiveness for that young acrobat who has just joined us as a novice. He is only a boy, but I would like to help him become a good brother. He is a kind boy and demonstrates a tremendous heart. I promise you, Francis, the young man will become a good brother. O Lord, you turn my darkness into light. You are my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord shall always turn my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a battalion of enemies. With your help, I can advance against a battalion of enemies. With the help of my God, I can scale any wall. With the help of my God, I can scale walls. God is perfect, his word is flawless. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. You are the shield for those who take refuge in you, Lord. You are the shield for those who take refuge in you, Lord.
It's Francis. Here I am, Clara. Yesterday in the evening, you told me you wanted to talk in front of your mother. Yes, Francis, she as well. Well, here I am. Your mother and I will listen to you, Clara. It's just that I'm afraid to say this. Well, we aren't here just to have you stay silent. Go ahead and speak, daughter. You're right, mother. I just need the courage to say what I want. My friends and I wish to be your brothers in poverty and servants of Jesus. This is a very important decision, Clara. But if you really want this, then all I can do is welcome you with blessings and great joy. No. You're a cruel man, Francis. You're as cruel as all your brothers and those crazy, dirty beggars that follow you. I didn't raise my little girl to be locked up in a convent. You want her to become a filthy urchin like your brothers. Is that what you want? I'm begging you, Francis. Tell her no. Don't bring my darling girl into this life of hardship and poverty. She's still only a little girl. Can't you see that? Leave her be. You should be happy. The Lord's calling is a great gift. But I don't want this gift. Not for my baby. I know this is painful, madam, but you must understand that you've been very fortunate because your house has been visited by the Lord God. <laughs>